get a lot of bad press. <laughs> so I'm glad that I'm here trying to give them some good press because they are very interesting animals. I think several of the things that maybe not a lot of people know is the fact that they are not blind and the fact that they are so social and they have all this other array of, of communication calls that the bat research field has focused a lot on echolocation because that's the very special thing that they do compared to anybody else in the animal kingdom. So when we think of echolocation, we think of bats, but actually not all of them do. So you might have seen this videos on the internet of these bats with big eyes, maybe eating a banana. Those are probably not echolocating bats. And if they are, they're actually using their tongues to echolocate, so they, they do sound clicks like and they use their voices, like their larynx, to communicate with each other. There's fruit eating bats, there are insect eating bats, there's nectar feeding bats, the, there's even bats that eat small vertebrates like frogs or fish. There's a huge diversity in terms of where they live, what they eat, how they echolocate, if they echolocate. So there's over 1400 species of bats, which again makes it really interesting for comparative work.